everyone, this is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome back to Floss Tube number 85. I am very happy that you're here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm very happy that you found me. I hope you'll take a minute and look up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But very importantly, if you could ring that notification bell, that will just notify you when I have a new video to upload or I have um, some happy news to share. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back every week, spending a little bit of time with me on Friday mornings. I know you've got lots of floss tubers to watch, and I'm just tickle pink that you choose to spend a little bit of time with me. Um, today's going to be a pretty long video. We have a lot of things to update you on. Um, we're going to be announcing our Annabella's Top 12 Expo releases so that you'll get to see what the Top 12 charts were um, here at Annabella's that came out of the Needlework Expo, which just ended on Monday. So I have lots of things to share with you. I hope you'll grab a cup of coffee and get your stitching and sit back and relax um, and enjoy this time that we're going to spend together. So let me give you a real quick update. Um, but before I do that, if you are new to my channel, let me tell you a little bit about what my philosophy is. And Annabella's, and as far as Elaine is concerned, I really focus on being what I call perfectly imperfect. And what that means is I take joy in anything that I'm creating. And if I make a mistake, I'm gentle with myself and acknowledge that it's perfectly okay to be perfectly imperfect. So whether you are cross-stitching or paper crafting or quilting, just enjoy what you're doing. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Go ahead and display your work or give it to a friend. Um, just do what you enjoy. And of course, we're all gonna tear out stitches and redo quilt blocks when we really make a mistake. But by and large, you know, the, the beauty of everything that we do is that we enjoy our craft. So I hope that you'll subscribe to that philosophy as well. And um, normally what I do on these uh, floss tube episodes each week is I give you a quick life update. So if you are new to my channel, feel free to scoot ahead, you know, a little bit if you're not interested in hearing about my silly life. Um, but let me give you guys an update real quick. Um, not much. Uh, yesterday we went to the Biltmore. Um, we figured it was our last day before the orders start arriving from the designers. And Terry and I and our help are locked in the shop for the next two to three weeks getting orders shipped. Um, so we did go to the Biltmore yesterday. It was a beautiful day. Um, we had a great time and I had the most amazing sandwich I've ever had in my life. It was a BLT with fried green tomatoes and pimento cheese and bacon and lettuce grown right on the Biltmore Estate. And oh my goodness, it was delicious. I've never had a sandwich like that before in my life. And of course, Terry wanted a bite and I said, you could have one little bite. And he like took a bite and ate half my half. So, uh, but it was great. So we did do some shopping and we went ahead and got our annual passes because we'll be spending a lot of time there uh, now that we're living here full time. Um, so it was fun. And you'll be happy to know we've had no wildlife encounters over the past week or so. So thank goodness for that. No bear visits. Um, so I'm happy to hear, you know, happy to, to announce that we've had no, no wildlife. Um, and then, um, I have to tell you that I did do some stitching, so I am going to show you one of my whips. Um, I did finish designing our September Simple Smalls. My daughter has them right now to chart for me, and, um, she isn't feeling well. She's a little bit under the weather. Um, so I'm thinking I'll get those to my, um, uh, what is it? My model stitcher, having a brain, um, to my model stitcher uh, later this week. So it might be another week or so before they're live. But I am going to show you the uh, colorway, the, the floss that I selected uh, for our September Simple Small. So you'll have something to look forward to. Um, and then the rest of my time, obviously, was spent um, with the Expo. And let me just give you guys a quick update on that. It was wonderful. Um, I got to visit and chat with a bunch of designers. I got to meet some wonderful shop owners. Um, Janice from The Noteworthy Needle, let me just tell you, she put on an amazing event. And although this is my second year attending as a buyer, it was my first year attending as a designer. And just, you know, she went over the top. Um, and everyone was so kind. Um, but I did have one nasty um, visitor. So normally, if you watch my floss tube, um, you know that, you know, I subscribe to, to kindness. Um, but because this is my floss tube channel, I can go ahead and address this very quickly because that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, if you've ever gone to a restaurant and had lousy service, if you've ever um, left a penny to send a message to the waitress, um, then you know what I'm referring to. So a very well-known shop owner uh, decided to pull a stunt and send me a very clear message. And the thing is, is that they were stupid enough when they uh, placed their order with me uh, via the message button to leave their name and email address. So I know exactly who they are. Um, and normally my public response would simply be what I share with you every week. And that is be happy, be well, and most of all, be kind. Um, but because this is my FlossTube channel, let me instead say, um, bless your heart. You know, you don't need to worry about what Annabella is doing or about our designs or about our success. Um, your stunt says more about you than it does about me. So that's all I have to say about that. But let's move along and talk about shipping. So the designers are starting to send their items. Uh, we've already started to receive them. And what I want you to know is that some are sending partial orders. So today, for example, I got a partial order from a designer, which just makes me believe that they have to reprint additional charts. So if you have placed a pre-order, just keep in the back of your mind that your order will ship when the last pre-order you ordered arrives in the shop by the designer. So again, I'm holding true to my two week to three week window um, of getting everything out, um, but it'll all hinge on when those designers get us their final charts. So um, just be be watching, you know, your, your um, Etsy account because the account will tell you um, when uh, I ship, you'll get a shipping notification with a tracking number. Um, but if you have any questions, you can send an email to me through the Etsy message button. Don't send me an email through Gmail if you have questions on your Etsy orders um, because I have no way of referencing your order number or anything like that, and I'm not going to respond to them. You need to respond. You need to ask questions using your uh, Etsy message button right from your order itself, and then I can quickly respond or Terry can quickly respond or whoever's here can respond um, because it'll pull up your order that you're referencing. So I'd appreciate that. Um, and Barbara Johns from Stitching with Grammy is coming next week to help Terry and I here in the shop, both with getting our shipping done and helping me set up our LNS. So we've got lots of fun things ahead, and I'm very excited about that. So how about we move right into some fun stitchy stuff? So let me get a sip of water. Mm. I thought what I would do is share the top 12, our top 12 in Annabella's charts that were um, chosen by all of you. So if you are interested in knowing what the top sellers were from the Needlework Expo by which designer, I'm gonna share them with you now. And of course, this only relates to Annabella's. Other shops may have different numbers, uh, but our numbers of our top 12 are as follows. So I'm gonna insert photos here. Um, I have one designer whose chart we have, but it's buried in this pile that I'm gonna show you in a little bit, so I can't pull it out. Um, and it is our number 12. So our number 12 top design was from the Blue Flower, and it is her Seasons of the Heart Autumn. So here is a photo of it here, and then I'll also show it to you when we're done with this and I go through the new store arrivals. So number 12, Annabella's Expo, is the Blue Flower Seasons of the Heart. And number 11, our number 11 top selling chart was by October Fiber Arts, October House Fiber Arts, I'm sorry. And it is Strawberry Fair. So here is Strawberry Fair. This is number 11 by October House Fiber Arts. Number 10 of our top sellers at Annabella's for Needlework Expo is by Kathy Barrick. And it is called Witches Training Academy. So how cute is this? Witches Training Academy is number 10. Number nine is by Heart and Hand, We Santa 2022. And Cecilia does these every year. So her We Santa 2022 is adorable. Um, and all the charts I'm showing you are available in the shop or will be available in the shop um, if they're already sold out because we are placing reorders now uh, with all the designers. So um, here we have uh, We Santa. Number eight is Primrose Cottage Stitches Religious Christmas. This is just a beautiful trio of Christmas sayings, um, and that is number eight. Number, yes, number eight. 
Number seven of our top 12 at Annabella's is by Teresa Kogut, and it is her Angry Whimsy Witches. So here you go, isn't this cute? Angry Whimsy Witches, tongue tied. Um, ready, we're halfway there. Number six of our top 12 is by Ari, which is Laura at Riverview Stitching, and it is the new Gobbletons, and we also carry the fabric. So I'm going to show you soon, uh, when I go through my basket, um, the fabric that goes with this chart. So here's the chart, and it is actually stitched on um, pumpkin, a pumpkin fabric uh, that I'm gonna show you in just a minute, and we do have that available as well. So that is number six. Number five is by Hands On Design. This is called Autumn Basket. And this is this was, of course, you know, our fifth most popular chart. So if you haven't taken a peek at it, it is in the shop and it is called Autumn Basket. Almost done. Number four, hello from Liz Matthews, her Autumn Cloche. Probably one of my favorite releases that Liz has put out recently. I just love this. And yes, it's going into my stash, along with all the other hello from Liz Matthew charts that I have, um, but I just adore this. It is just beautiful. Um, so that is number four. Number three, Primrose Cottage Stitches again. 13 Spooky Smalls, huge seller, wonderful book filled with 13 great Halloween charts. This was our number three. Number two in our top 12 is Heart in Hand by Cecilia, her wonderful Halloween tiny town. How all of her tiny town charts have been widely, widely popular here at Annabella's, but her Halloween tiny town has really took off. Um, if you have not checked it out, here is a photo. Um, the chart should be here this week. I believe she has shipped. So we'll be getting those right out to you. And that is number two. And our number one of the top 12 charts that were released by the designers at Annabella's is by Teresa Kogut, her Hello Halloween book. This is an amazing book. Uh, Teresa put a lot of time and love and energy into it. And all of you raised your hand. Number one, this is what you want. And it is Hello Halloween Book by Teresa Kogut. So how fun is that? Those are our top 12. These designers hit it out of the park. They worked so hard to bring you so many beautiful charts and so many releases for this Needlework Expo. But I have to say these top 12 really, really are special. So I hope you enjoyed seeing our top 12 and I hope that you picked out a chart or two either for yourself or for a friend. Um, so that was fun, right? Okay, why don't I now share with you just my whip. I didn't do a lot of stitching this week. I, I, just, got, I just worked on one chart. I, I tried to be a little monogamous this week, but I showed this to you last week. This is going to be one of Annabella's September releases. Um, I had only shown you the Happy Harvest, but I've started uh, the barn. And as you can see, look at how pretty that is. Look how nice those colors pop. Um, so the white really stands out. And this is a 14 count Witchel, I believe it's clay, um, that I think I had mentioned that I decided to do uh, instead of stitching on black. Um, I am stitching, even though I said I wasn't gonna stitch on black, I did find another fabric that I'm stitching on for another release that's coming uh, by Annabella's, and I'm stitching that on um, brown, a very dark, an espresso, and it's gorgeous, um, instead of on black. Um, but here's Happy Harvest. So this is coming along and I'm gonna hopefully finish this over Labor Day weekend, I think. I'm just gonna stick with this till I get it done. So there you go, that's the only whip I have. And then I did wanna show you the color way um, of our September Simple Smalls. So like I said, my daughter has these. There'll be four Simple Smalls coming out in September, uh, probably in the next week or so. Um, as soon as the model stitcher gets them back to me. I may stitch two and send her two, just so that we can get them done quick. So if you're watching model stitcher, you know who you are. <laughs> um, I'll get you two and I'll probably keep two. So these are the colors of our Simple Smalls for September. And if you have them in your stash, you can, you can look now. We have German chocolate. These are all classic color works this time. Steamed broccoli. You'll need black coffee. You'll need golden star. 
you'll need the, the new marmalade, and we do carry this. This is brand new. I'm gonna show you uh, this again shortly along with Summer Sky, which are the two brand new colors that uh, Diane just released from Classic Color Works. So you'll need marmalade, you'll need brandied pears, and you'll need bamboo. So those are the colors that you'll need in order to complete the four simple smalls for the month of September. And yes, we will also be carrying the floss for you if you don't have it in your stash. So there you go. I can't wait to show you those, they're so cute. Okay, let's see what we've got. Next is, we started something fun on Instagram. It, I kind of mentioned it yesterday, but today's when we'll start promoting it. It's called Stitchy September. So hashtag Stitchy September. Uh, join our Facebook group if you haven't already done so. The link is below. So join Annabella's Facebook group and we are going to have a very fun Stitchy September. And we're gonna have contests and happy mail and all kinds of fun things going on. So we would love for you to join us. Um, September kind of kicks off in my house anyway, uh, all things autumn and thinking about fall. And now that we're living here in the mountains of North Carolina, I'm looking forward to the colors and planting in my garden. And oh, I'm just so excited. Um, so I thought, well, and it's also my birthday month and I have a big birthday coming up at the end of the month. So uh, we are gonna have a very fun stitchy September here at Annabella's. And I would love Love for all of you to join our Facebook group and enjoy it with me. Okay, autumn retreat, autumn retreat. Oh yes, okay, I digress. Um, our all things autumn retreat is coming up and very soon, it's in November. Uh, we are still waiting to receive the information from Priscilla on um, the finishing so that we can order your finishing supplies and have those little bags ready for you when you check in. So as soon as we get that, you will be updated. Please make sure that you check your emails and that you are part of our All Things Autumn um, Facebook group if you are a registered attendee, because that's where you're gonna see a lot of information. Um, and then of course, whenever we have more updates to share with you, we will, but you can certainly always email me uh, or message me. Usually email is best when it comes to the retreats, annabellashop at gmail.com. And either myself or Barbara will get back to you quickly. All Things Winter Retreat, very happy to tell you with Primrose Cottage Stitches, we still have a few openings left, so please be sure we're winding down quick. We're hitting our numbers very quickly, so please make sure that if you are interested in attending this phenomenal weekend with all of the wonderful ladies at Primrose Cottage Stitches that you are registered and ready to go, and make sure you do that soon. Hotels in South Florida sell out quickly during our season down there. Um, you know, nobody likes to be you know, in the snow in the winter, so they all come to South Florida. So you wanna get your hotel reservations as well. And this week on Sunday is when the Spirit Wear will go live for everyone that is a registered attendee for the All Things Winter Retreat. So if you are registered, you will receive a link that you can use to shop for your Spirit Wear. And it's gonna be so cute. Okay. Um, let's see, Labor Day. Okay, we have a, we have a big holiday coming up this Monday. Mm. So Labor Day is on Monday. And when Terry and I moved here to the new shop and now we're getting ready to open our LNS and then we have, you know, thousands of orders come in for Expo, um, we went through and realized we need to have a sale. We need to clear out a bunch of charts um, and make room, uh, not only for the stock that we're gonna be getting in for the LNS, but also for Expo and, you know, just to make space. So we've decided to have a 25% off sale. Now we, we only do this maybe once or twice a year. So this is it. If you are looking to stretch those stitchy dollars, um, this weekend will be the weekend to do it. Now it's not gonna be live until tomorrow, which is, I'm, I'm filming on Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday. The sale will begin tomorrow, which is today if you're watching, uh, but I don't know what time. So I don't know if the sale's already gonna be live as you're watching this video Friday morning, uh, or if it'll be later in the day. Um, you know, I just don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but the sale will run sometime on Friday through Monday. So you're gonna have Friday, maybe half a day, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and all day Monday to save 25%. So there's going to be a category under the menu bar on Etsy that says 25% off or 25% Labor Day. Um, so that's it. Once, once Monday comes and Monday ends, 
the sale will be over. Um, so just an FYI, please share that with your stitchy friends. Let them know that Annabella's is having a huge Labor Day sale. Um, I'll post it on social media, um, but I wanted to share it with all of you, my stitchy friends first, okay? Okay, let's see what else. How about I go through some new shop arrivals now, and then we'll talk about some happy mail, and I'll let you get to your day, okay? All right, so I think the first batch, let me just start taking all of this out of here. Okay, so pray, okay, so these, the first two I'm showing you are back in the shop. We sold out of these, very popular. This is Deck the Bows. So this is 12 ornaments, um, hand embroidery ornaments. These are absolutely so stinking cute. And as I've mentioned before, you know, we are a needle workshop. So Annabella's just doesn't sell cross stitch and quilting and paper crafting. Uh, we also sell embroidery, both machine and hand embroidery. And we sell a tremendous amount of quilt patterns, which I'm gonna share a few with you today. So this is uh, Duck the Bows. And if you are looking for a fun, um gift ideas these are so cute and so easy to stitch up um and they're available in the shop and then this one has i can't even keep this on the shelf this is scented christmas bowlies look at how cute those are so scented christmas bowlies um everything you need is listed on the back it tells you how much fabric to use and these make eight little pillows and the pillows are about four and three quarters by six or five by eight. Um, you can use fabric that's in your stash. It's DMC floss, super, super fun. Um, but I love those. Those are the scented Christmas bullies. And these are by Kathy Schmidt. She's a pretty popular embroidery designer. So I wanted to show those to you. Then we have, um, let me show you some items that have come in. Oh, my bad. Let me show you some items that have come in um, from the expo. Okay, now, like I said, we've got some things that are starting to come in, but not everything. This first chart um, was released by Praiseworthy Stitches. It's called Esmeralda's Academy of Charms. So this is by Praiseworthy Stitches. Esmeralda's Academy of Charms. Look at that. Isn't that fun for Halloween? So that chart is available. Then we have from Kathy Barrick, oh wait, Praiseworthy Stitches also released this adorable blue Christmas ornament kit. So look at that cute little ornament. You just stitch up that cute little ornament. The um, wooden uh, ornament is actually included the kit, your fabric and all your floss. How adorable is that? Wouldn't that make a fun little gift for a teacher or for a friend? Like that so much. Then Kathy Barrick, uh, we have Merry Christmas Witches. This is the only chart I got so far. I'm sure she shipped uh, a separate box with the other charts, but this chart is here. Merry Christmas Wishes by Kathy Barrick. Look at that. Look at the deer and the birds. So nice. And uh, she gives you the different stitch counts, 14, 16, 18, and 20 on the back. Um, she stitched this on 40 count boardwalk from Color and Cotton. Uh, using Gloriana hand dyed silks over two. Okay, so that's Merry Christmas wishes. Then we got in a few from the Blue Flower. Um, this is, like I said, uh, was one of our top 12. This is Seasons of the Heart Autumn. And we do carry all her Seasons of the Heart charts. So there's Seasons of the Heart Summer, Seasons of the Heart Spring. I'm not sure if there's Seasons of the Heart Winter, I can't remember. Um, but if there is, it's in the shop. But here you go, Seasons of the Heart Autumn. Sorry for the glare. Then we, let me take this out. Sorry about that. Ugh. Ooh, they get stuck. This one is Autumn's Hymn. Autumn's Hymn. Whoops, she's so cute. She's got this little thing in there. Okay, then we have uh, Magpie and the Moon. Sorry, I didn't take these out before, but Magpie and the Moon. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> She's got little cards that keep sliding out. And then we have, last but not least, we have Bumble Bear. Look how cute he is with his Halloween pumpkin. Bumble Bear. 
So those are the releases by the blue flower that came in. Then at Summer House Stitchworks, I have three to show you here. Her very, very popular um, series, she has uh, spring, winter, and autumn. This is Autumn Provides. And then there's Winter Cometh, Spring Awakens, and Summer something or other, can't remember. But this is the fourth. Isn't that beautiful? It's stunning. Just love the way she designed this. Okay. And then if you're completing the Fragments in Time series, uh, she released number seven and number eight, Fragments in Time 2022. This is number seven. It's so cute. Look at the little sheep. And then number eight is a partridge. Looks like a partridge in a pear tree. Very nice. And then Luminous Fiber Arts, we got in some of her charts. The first one is All Hallows Eve. And she stitched this on 32 count vintage country mocha by Zweigart. And she's classic color works and weeks dye works. Then her Hocus Pocus. 32 count antique ivory linen by Zweigart. Then we have Sneaky Spooky Spells. So cute. I love it. And she stitched this two strands of floss over two on 32 count opalescence linen by Luminous Fiber Arts. Then if you are completing her uh, Mouse Capades series, she has um, release number five and number six. Number five is Filling Santa's Bag. And number six is Trimming the Tree. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. I love this one. All right. Then I told you, I showed you the Marmalade, which is part of the colorway that's going to be with Annabella's Simple Smalls releases. But here is um, the other. This is Summer Sky. So Classic Color Works. These are the two new colors that are now in the shop. Summer Sky and Marmalade. They're so pretty. Let me see if you can see the variegations. That one. And that. So there you go. Those two are here. Then there's all kinds of stuff down here. This is not in any order. Um, so I do a lot of my, I do all my own cross stitch finishing. And I told you that when we came out with our Bella, uh, Bella boards, which are, have been just very um, well received. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, with our Bella boards, we're gonna be adding little Bella bags. And in the bag is where you're gonna be able to uh, look at a Bella board, something like this. And then anything that I used, if I'm able to get it, it's gonna be a little Bella bag and you can add that on when you check out. So one of the things that I use quite a bit when I do my finishing is I use these little uh, wool squares on the back of my pillows. So I went ahead and I ordered all the colors that I could get by um, in the patch designs. So these are like charms. Like if you're a quilter, you know what a charm pack is. So these are five inch squares. And in here you receive two, four, five. You get five wool uh, squares in the colorway. So you'll get five wool squares. And um, these are five by five um, charms. So basically what I do is I just take my charm and I cut it this way and then I cut it this way. And then I have uh, four, I can get four perfect squares when I cut this. Um, and then I use those to put on the back of my cross stitch pillows um, when I, you know, stuff, make a slice and then stuff it. And then I cover it with a, some, some wool. And then sometimes I'll use another piece of fabric and add a button. So I wanted you to see these because you, you'll see a lot of them um, when you look at my finishing. 
Um, so, and you'll also, these will also be available in your Bella bags uh, when we start putting those together for you. And those will already be, already be cut. I'll, I'll work into this and I'll start, um, you know, slicing these, slicing these up. I sound like Halloween woman. I'll be cutting them for you into the squares. But if you want to go ahead and put these into your stash now and have them for not only cross stitch finishing, but for other projects, these are great. They're very affordable. And this one is uh, just simply called oranges. Then we have greens, and the greens are great. You know, there's just so many fun colors in there. And I looked at a lot of different um, companies when I decided to start uh, offering this to you. Um, and, you know, In the Patch Designs is probably my favorite. Uh, I love the quality. I love the way they dye their, their, their wool. Um, I love the way it feels. Um, and I, I just really like their shop. So just wanted to let you know that. So this is the purples. Isn't that fun? Wouldn't that be great for Halloween? Purples. Then the blues. Very nice colors. There's the blues. Then we have pinks. And last but not least, we have our yellows. Now, there are a couple colors that I'm waiting on that my distributor is out of, but they're in my cart. So you will see more colors available um, as soon as the distributor gets them in. But I just thought these woolly charms were fantastic, so they are now available in the shop. Okay. Okay, let me show you some fabric now. Okay, so fabric um, that I ordered that came in, um, Fox and Rabbit, this is flannel flower. So this is a 28 count flannel flower. Um, and I believe it's 17 and a half by 27. But look how nice that is. So you get this um, fat quarter. So that is flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit. Put that back in here. Then, oh, I can't remember what color this is. Sage, sage bush, sage bush. I don't know. I apologize. But let me show it to you anyway because I only got in two colors. So if you go to the Etsy shop and you type in fox and rabbit, you'll see this second color. It's a beautiful color. This is sagebrush. It's um, almost like a taupe or um, I don't know. I guess it's a sage. What am I saying? But you get a nice fat quarter of this. You can see the modeling. Isn't that pretty? I love them. They're very sweet. I got to meet them at um, the needlework at, um, at the in Nashville. Got to meet them in Nashville. And it was my first time attending, and I was a hot mess. I didn't know what I was doing. Thank God Barbara was there. Um, but I got to meet them, and they're lovely. And I think I'm in, going to uh, be selling a lot more of their fabrics here in our shop. Okay, this... I'm reluctant to take this out of the bag, so I'm not going to do it. So I told you that Ari came out with uh, the Gobbletons, the new Gobbletons, and that beautiful um, chart uh, of the of the Gobbletons on Thanksgiving. So I'm going to insert that here. And then this is the Fabric by Fabric Flare. So you're going to stitch the chart directly on this incredible fabric, just like you see in the photo. And this is a 28 count even weave by Fabric Flare. It is simply gorgeous. And you're going to be seeing a lot more fabric flare um, in our shop. And someone had asked me if we we're going to be carrying higher counts. And the answer is absolutely yes. That's why we're having that 25% off sale. I got to make room for all this stuff. So yes, we plan to carry, you know, 28, 30, 32, 40, 42. So you're going to be able to get, you know, all of your fabric right here at Annabella's. Um, and then this one is called Stormy Gray. And I believe this one was used to stitch Tiny Modernist Edgar Allan Poe. Now, we have been unable to get Edgar Allan Poe in the shop. We have run out of the chart. I'm, I'm trying and trying and trying. I believe I already placed my order with Cheryl directly because um, my distributors haven't been able to get it. Um, but if not, I'll do that today now that I'm reminding myself. And you'll see uh, Edgar Allan Poe available again. But this is Stormy Gray. And this, again, is a fat quarter. All right, so those are some fabrics that have come in. And then now, oh, I have this big stack. I have more shop arrivals. These are just charts that have come in. Um, let me save the quilt ones for the end. Let's stick with cross stitch and then we'll do the quilting. Okay, Plum Street Samplers, back in stock. Halloweenies, look at them. Oh my goodness, so cute. 
So many of you have asked for this, so I think we got in enough to last through the weekend anyway. Um, but there you go, that's Halloweenies. If you want this, order it now because I can't keep it in stock. Next, oh, Tiny Modernist. We have some new releases. These are brand new by Tiny Modernist. This one's adorable. These just arrived. This is the Stitch Witch. Look at that. That is the Stitch Witch. She uh, stitched this on Beautiful Beige uh, by Witchell. Um, it is a 16 count Ada. Love that. Then finally, number three in the Halloween Crystal Ball series, if you've participated, this is the final release and there you go. This is what your Halloween Crystal Ball looks like when you have completed all three designs. So um, if you are new, uh, you have to buy each one separately. So part one, has been released, part two has been released, so you buy each of those, and then you would buy part three. When you stitch all three, this is what your final will look like. So this is part three. Very popular this year. I just love it. And she carried it through with her new release, which is Christmas Snow Globe. So this is Christmas Snow Globe, part one. So what you're gonna receive in your salad is you're only gonna get this right here. This is what will be in part one, then part two will be here and part three will be here or vice versa. So the next release will be either this or this and then the final release will be whatever's remaining. So there you go. That is Christmas snow globe. Then we got in um, from Prairie Schooler three charts that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> this is Christmas traditions. If you're starting to think about Christmas stitching, look at that nativity, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. There you go. What's this one? Merry Christmas and then the Christmas alphabet. But I think the nativity is stunning. Look at that. Beautiful nativity scene. Then we have pumpkin patch, which is absolutely perfect to kick off your September stitching and stitchy September with Annabella's. That would be some fun thing to sit for stitchy September. There you go. And then, this one's adorable. This is called Witching Hour. So if you love to stitch Halloween, look at this. Look at those witches on their brooms. That's Elaine up there when she got cranky with that shop owner that sent me that nasty message. I know who you are, you silly woman. There you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, another sip of water. Throat's dry. We have a high pollen here. I've been using Flonase like it's going out of style. I still get that scratchiness in my throat. Okay. So, as I said, um, although I haven't been doing a lot of quilting, not because I don't love to quilt, but because I'm one person with, you know, multiple hats <laughs> that I wear. And I just haven't been able to quilt lately, but I'm, I'm hoping to get there. I really am. And, and to share with you some of my, my quilts and my, my quilt tops that I've done and um, quilts that I have in progress. So just bear with me, okay? I, I, I promise you I will. Um, but let me show you some of the patterns that, as a quilter, I just love. Now, the pattern basket and fig tree uh, and coriander quilts are probably three of my top favorite quilt designers. Um, we, ha I've designed a, a few quilts, but I'm not ready to share those yet. So as soon as I am, you will be able to get some quilts by Annabelle's here in the shop. But for now, let's just stick with the ones that we know and love. Um, because if I, when, when I saw these, they just caught my eye and I thought, you know what? I think my people are going to love this. So this one is Bewitched. Isn't that adorable? Look at those cute little hats. So all you need is nine fat quarters. I mean, that's not tough, right? So you need nine fat quarters for the hats, the buckles and the bands. And then you need uh, 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 one, two more fat quarters, uh, solid fat quarters for the stars. And then you need... You need three and three quarter yards for the background and sashing. So basically the back of each chart is gonna tell you exactly what you need. And you do not have to use any fabric uh, that you see here. You, my best practice is always to use what you have in your stash first before you go out and spend more money. So use what you have in your stash first. If you don't have anything, check out Annabella's. We have lots of oranges, lots of blacks. You can pick up a fat quarter. Um, of a pretty color. You know, you don't need to, uh, you know, buy a kit 
or you know buy yards and yards of fabric that's why our bella bundles are so fun because you don't have to break the bank okay i'm not going to take these out the next one that i just love is autumn spice isn't that a pretty quilt for fall look at that so again she uses nine orange uh fat eights for the pumpkins so you know we, we all probably have fat eights sitting around in our stash um and everything is listed on the back and this finished quilt is about 56 inches 56 and a half inches square okay then fig tree and company these are two of my favorites um this is pumpkin trio look at that so she used a charm pack for the pumpkins she used an eighth of a yard uh for the green leaves um, and then she tells you what she used for the inner border and outer border. And when this finishes, it's 26 inches by 34 inches. So there you go. That is Pumpkin Trio. And this one I love. This is um, a table runner. And I would love to have this on my dining room table starting September 1st, which is today, which isn't going to happen. Um, but one can only hope, right? This is Pumpkins in a Row. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So that is pumpkins in a row. And that size is 16 and a half by 40 and a half. So you can pair it with any of your Halloween fabric that you have or fall fabric. Okay, then I have quite a few uh, that came in from Coriander Quilts. These have been on back order. So some of these are more summer themed, but I don't know about you. I always have more than one quilt going at a time kind of like I do with my cross stitch. <laughs> um, but this is just a simple Barn Star. This is Barn Star 5. So I assume that there's Barn Store 4, 3, 2, and 1, and I will be grabbing those the next time I shop at, at this distributor. So um, this is Barn Star 5. So it just shows you how to make a 40-inch square. Um, this is a 40-inch square. Actually, it's a wall hanging. It, it's not um, for a block. It's for a wall hanging. So this is a 40-inch square wall hanging. Um, and it looks adorable. Look at that. I love the, I love the Bard Star. It makes one block while hanging tacks on your home. Okay, then we have Happy Scrappy Baskets, very popular. We were out of this for a long time, but this is finally back. Happy Scrappy Baskets. Two layer cakes, four yards of white fabric, and then some binding and backing. Boom, you're done. Love these, these are the ones that I was talking about. This one is, I gotta show this first. I fell in love with this. This is going home with Elaine. This is Baskets Bliss. Isn't that beautiful? She used uh, 20 fat eighths or one fat eighth bundle, a half a yard of pink fabric, three quarters of a yard of green fabric for the leaves, and then your backing, that's it. She used four and a quarter yards for her backing. And this finishes off at 75 by 90. But I love it, my fave. Okay, two more. This is Star Striped. Star Striped. I've got so much patriotic fabric sitting at home. And then Summer Weekend, which I also love. I just love the navy. She used a, You can use a layer cake uh, or 28 10 inch squares. She used a charm pack or you can use uh, five inch squares. And then she used a yard and a half for the white background. Uh, for the blocks, and then your backing and your binding. And this finishes off at 64 by 76. So how fun. That's nice. Aren't those fun? Very cute. Okay, these, let me just tell you, these bare roots, little embroidery pillows, um, you, these are both embroidery and quilting. So, you know, you can you use whatever talent is called for, but these are the little fall pillows. Let me take this out. These have been so popular. Look at these. How easy is that? Look at the turkey. Look at this. So the average size is either nine by nine or seven by 10. You receive the chart for every one of them shown here. So these little fall pillows. Um, some of the felt now um, that you use, you can you pick up a charm pack from Annabella's and use the charm pack for, you know, the yellows or what have you. But the charm packs you can also use. 
Um, so there's wool, wool felt, and she tells you what colors you need, the browns, the oranges, the reds. Um, and then she tells you no stuffing and freezer paper, but everything you need is written on the back of the chart. And then she is her instructions are very, very thorough, as well as all kinds of designs for every single one. You get a design page. So, um, and then she has her website. So if you are looking for some really cute pillows to stitch up for fall, uh, here you go. Great gifts. If you are going to be going, you know, out to people's houses to celebrate the holidays uh, or going somewhere for Thanksgiving, these are nice hostess gifts, right? I think. I would love to receive a hostess gift like this. Um, but seeing as my, my kids are usually the only guests that I have at my house, I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> Okay, and then here are the little Halloween pillows. These are so adorable, look. Look at that. So you can embroider this, you can adhere this, stitch these up, look at those. Cute little Halloween pillows. So there you go. Both of those are by Bear Roads, and we have a lot of other Bear Roads. They have the cutest little kitchen towels. So, um, I love, to I love kitchen towels. I'm a big kitchen towel person. We always have them hanging off our stove, off our dishwasher. Well, we did in Florida, we don't hear. But we had them hanging in on our dishwasher, and um, I love them. I hand-stitched a couple for my oldest daughter last year. I may do some this year. Okay, so that's all I have. Wow, we've been 45 minutes. Ugh, no wonder my throat hurts. Um, okay, so let's just jump right into uh, Happy Mail. So I did not get Happy Mail out last week, obviously, because of Expo, but I do hope to come in tomorrow, which is Saturday, and get the Happy Mail out. So if you uh, participated uh, last week and your name was announced, I did receive your emails. I know that you responded, and I promise I will get it out to you uh, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. But it'll go out before, um, you know, by the end of the weekend, or Monday's a holiday. So if not, it'll probably go in the mail Tuesday unless I get it out tomorrow. Okay, you're getting it. Okay, um... So last week, the question was with Happy Mail, uh, what was your favorite expo design? So thank you everybody who participated. And I wonder how many of you, based on what you selected, if you, the chart you selected ended up in our top 12. That would be fun to know, but that's not the question of the week. Um, but it would be fun to know, right? So I love the top 12. I love seeing you know, who raises their hand for which charts and what designers are the most popular. So, um, you know, thanks so much for, for shopping with Annabella's for your expo releases. Terry and I are so thrilled. Um, we're so happy that we were able to shop for you and, and bring you, you know, all of these designs that you are waiting for uh, by these phenomenal designers. Um, so thank you so much, really. Thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. You guys mean the world to us. Um, all right. So anyways, happy mail for last week. Um, was uh, who is your favorite chart that you had seen released so far. So thank you for participating. And if I call your name, you have to have a couple of things going for you. You gotta be over the age of 18 so I can ask for your mailing address. You have to have answered the question posed. So, you know, if I asked the question, you had to respond to the question. Um, so you have to answer the question posed and you have to send an email to annabellasshop at gmail.com so I have your mailing address and I can get your happy mail to you. So last week's winners are Stitching Granny of 17, Kim Anderson, Ellen Weaver, Denise Henry, Susan Grubbs, Cross Stitcher 223, Gwen Kay, and Julie Lewis. So thank you so much, ladies. We will get some happy mail right out to you. And um, I'll get back on track now because I'm going to have a little bit of help in the shop. So hopefully I'll get back on track right away. You won't have to wait too long. So uh, if you would like to participate, um, answer this week's question for next week. Um, the question is, who is your favorite cross-stitch fabric designer? Because now that we are expanding to include all kinds of different uh, fabric here in the shop, especially the higher counts. Uh, color and cotton, we mentioned earlier. Um, these are not in any order, I'm just calling them out. Fiber on a Whim, Fox and Rabbit, Fabric Flare, Fortnite Fabrics, Charles Craft. Let me know who your favorite go-tos are when you are selecting fabric other than Ada. Who is your go-tos? Um, and we will try to make sure that we have that selection for you here at Annabella's. Okay, that's it, everybody. 
long video today. Thanks for sticking around. Um, nothing at the end today, but I just want to thank you once again for spending the time with me. Uh, I hope that we will resume our Tuesday sit and stitch in uh, next week or the following week. If you'd like to join us, send an email to annabellashop at gmail.com, put in the subject line, sit and stitch in. And when I send inv invites out, which go, goes out on Sunday before our Tuesday night event, I will be sure to include you. We are stitching Winter Rose Manor, but you can stitch anything that you'd like. And Winter Rose Manor is by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. So until I do see you here next Friday, please be happy, be well, and most of all, be kind. See you soon.